Hi, Greg Weldon here with Weldon Live for Friday, August 4th. Today, it's about the monetary vice starting to squeeze particularly in terms of credit conditions. And this is the exact thing that Powell and other Fed members have mentioned as something that makes them a little uncomfortable, that the lag time may mean that the erosion in credit conditions, the tightening in credit conditions, may be more intense than they have projected. And indeed, that concern is justified for sure. And what we see in the senior loan officer survey data that I dissected this week Holy mackerel, the, the vice is really starting to tighten the grip, squeezing both sides of the coin here. I mean, it's really both sides of the head are being squeezed. Both ears are getting, you know, pressed towards the middle of the brain here in terms of, you know, just the, this vision of the Fed being the mafia guy who's trying to get the economy to give and using the vice on their head, right? And it's like, you know, at this point, it really is both sides because what we see in the senior loan officer survey is a lower willingness or even ability in terms of concern about capital positions of banks to even lend more, a surprise to me a little bit to the degree to which that was prevalent, and a lower willingness and or ability, less demand in every single sector of credit except home equity loans. A lot to talk about there too, by the way. But you know, in terms of this making me think of the live I published this past summer, where uh, we compared what Powell's saying now and had been saying this year compared to what Paul Volcker, his hero, when he was, you know, going to school and everything, was going to become an economist or whatever, um, said in 1978 when they were tightening dramatically. And that was the playbook that Powell's been using to defeat inflation was his, you know, would be mentor, uh, Paul Volcker. Let's use the Volcker playbook. Well, that's what they did. The problem is, and, and Powell's been clear, but the problem is back then, even without 113% debt to GDP ratio, Paul Volcker was very clear in congressional testimony that we do not want to cause and or see a credit contraction. That's the only place Powell has differed from his would-be mentor when he has been very clear to his own credit every step of the way. He's told us exactly what he's going to do, and then he does it. And maybe too much, that's the problem. It may be too late. That's the problem. But in this case, he has said pain will follow. That will include rising unemployment. That will include, you know, lower domestic final demand and also tightening credit, a credit contraction. And yeah, it's needed badly. I mean, it really is. But the problem is, here's the ultimate in the high wire tightrope walk, you know, over Niagara Falls, because you'd settle, saddle with 113% debt to GDP ratio. That's a big problem going forward, especially when you're about to borrow, you know, two, then three, and now maybe four trillion dollars a year, and you have 40 trillion in debt by the end of next year. Holy mackerel. Don't tip too far. You're gonna fall one way, tip too far the other way. But what's interesting here is the ISM service data also had uh, inflationary numbers in them. Stagflation still holds the top spot in the 2023 yearbook as most likely to succeed.